He's not focusing very much. Eric, focus off. Can start. Yeah. After being cut from his basketball team, he went home, locked himself in his room, and cried. This man was Michael Jordan. Jordan? Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Rafael Costa. And my topic for today is secret of all triumph is perseverance. Now Michael Jordan is a man that so many people admire. So many basketball players look up to him. They want to be him. They learn from his example. When he was a boy, he was cut from his basketball team. He was hurt so badly. He went home in his room, locked himself in there, and cried for a full day. The next day, he woke up. He brought himself up. He knew today was a new day, and he tried again and again and again and eventually he is an NBA legend today he is a superstar and that was where he came from let us look at another person fired from a newspaper for lacking imagination and having no original ideas any guesses? Disney. exactly Walt Disney how many people have heard of Disney? Does anyone here not know of Disney? Disney <laughs> Animated Studios has a special place in every kid's heart. Anyone who is remotely connected with the world at large has heard of them and they love them. This studio has won the first Academy Award for an animated film. Something that is rare even today in the year 2017. It was started by this man, by this legend in Walt Disney. A man who was accused of having no imagination, of having no original ideas. If that's not enough for you, and let's take another example. There was once a band, they were a good band, they tried their best. And they performed, and they did well, and they did it over and over and over again. But they were rejected by Decca Studios, who simply said, We do not like their music. We don't like it. They have absolutely no place in this industry. We should quit and go home. Any guesses on the band? Beatles. Beatles. The most successful band and the most acclaimed and accredited band even today. They are legends among legends. They tried over and over and over again. When people said, you can't do this, you can't work. When the premier recording studio of that time said that we do not like their sound, they did not give up. They stood by it. They worked over and over and over again. And they became the legends. They became internationally known. They became myths. Now at this point of time, I'm going to shamelessly rip off Sahel, who himself shamelessly ripped off Fight Club. In today's day and age, because of all the participation, all the participation certificates, all these awards, all the saying, meh, do or do not, you can work, you can try, you're good, you're good, just as how you are. We have created a generation of special snowflakes, a generation that would try, a generation that gives up. When you're talking about people, when you're talking about successors, when you're talking about people that worked hard, they did what they needed to do. They are not special snowflakes. They worked hard. They did what needed to be done. An example of a man that lost almost everything is the 16th President of the United States of America, Abraham Lincoln. First, his fiance died. He lost his son. He failed in his businesses. He had a nervous breakdown and was beaten in eight separate elections. <coughs> this man is, if you ask any person who was your favorite president, chances are they would say Abraham Lincoln. Of course. Modi, Modi. <laughs> you 
have to understand one thing. What is the difference between perseverance and trying over and over and over? There's a difference there. Let me ask you this. If I go for a race, I lose. Next race I go for, I lose. Third race I go for, I lose. I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again. That's not perseverance, that's insanity. If you do the same thing over and over without bearing it up, you aren't learning from it, you aren't taking anything from it. You are simply doing the same thing without expecting a different outcome. That's not perseverance. Thomas Edison was absolutely right when he said, I did not fail a thousand times. I didn't fail a thousand times. I had different. I did a thousand different methods, and that's a, that's a line you should know. There are a thousand different ways to work something. If you fail at something, come back, look behind, self-reflect. Why did you fail? Why did I not succeed? Why? Was it because my people were simply better than I am? Was it because Sahil over there is a much better speaker than I am? Or was it because I was unprepared, I failed, I didn't know what to do? Ask yourself, why? After you find out why, work to make sure that that reason is no longer valid. Remember this, each of you, each and every single one of you is one in a million. <coughs> but guess what? We are in a world of seven billion. There are 7,000 people just like you. There are 7,000 hard workers like Sahil. There are 7,000 singers like Mr. Bell. How can you beat them? How can you be better? They are just like you. That means you're not better than them. But you can get over them by never giving up, by, perse by persevering, by working hard over and over and over again and doing what needs to be done. That's all I have to say, ladies and gentlemen.